Hello, Paul Hamilton here. We're going to take a look at logic gates today. So let me show you what they are. It's basically some of the fundamental stuff with circuits in science, but also really ties in well with conditional statements um, when you're teaching kids about coding and computer science and so forth. So this is what I've created just quickly as a mock-up, and we'll go through what they actually mean. But you can see the top light is on because down the bottom, that's the, the kind of not. So when I press the button, that top one goes off because it's only on when the button is not pressed. Um, you can see uh, when I press both buttons together, the bottom one goes. Uh, and that's a simple case of either of them can actually go or end. Um, so you're actually pressing different buttons and it does different things, but you can get kids to start experimenting with, okay, what does this all mean? Um, can I have something turned on in my invention or my prototype and can I have other things switched off? Um, what requires two inputs and not just one input? Um, so it's really easy to do. You can see here down the bottom I've got my elements. So I've brought in a little toggle, a little button, and then I've got here, which is my transmissions here, I've got my and, or, not, and, uh, and and or as well. So what I basically do is just drag those up. So you can start to get kids to play around with um, the different aspects. I might just put that off here for a second, and see if I can grab these off and you'll get the gist of what we're doing. So I'll turn that toggle off, I'll join that one to there, and then we need an output as well. Oh, so I've got two on there, that's fine. So we might just put an output, let's put the globe as we do here, um, and then pop back so that we can have a look at what we've actually done. So this is the AND one, um, that when I turn it on, it obviously goes on, because I need kind of two inputs and so forth. So look, logic gates are really, really interesting in regard to um, how kids can explore um, circuits, um, how we can turn things on and off, but also kind of relating to our conditional statements as well. And the Everything Machine is fantastic for prototyping and experimenting. And obviously you want your kids to actually record what their findings are. So taking things like screenshots um, and actually annotating over the top is really, really effective. And we know that with iOS 11, when I take a screenshot there, I can then start to do some kind of annotating over the top, which is a great opportunity to actually bring in some deeper level thinking into the work that we're actually doing. Paul Hamilton here for iPad Monthly, signing off.